You know, I think there's a stigma that when people say well-being, it's all about health. When I think of well-being, I think of the whole picture. To me, well-being means taking steps and actions to try and improve my lifestyle. Can the workplace be a place where you leave healthier than when you arrive? So that's the intrigue. That's kind of the, the gauntlet that's been thrown. This whole well-being initiative, they want like me as an employee to feel happy and engaged and wanting to come to work, and I do. I love coming to work. I really like the tagline, love how you work, just because I think to me it means a good space to work and you have all the right ergonomics and like a positive environment that you're working in. You know, I think about this phrase, love how you work, and uh, it really could get us there if you actually believed in those words. We try to incorporate that in the way that we design for our clients their spaces and not just giving them a desk and a chair but really thinking about like how can we make their environment a place that they would love to be at. I think it's um, it's going to make the employees happy. If that, like I think it's going to keep us wanting to come to work and really enjoying Young Office as a whole. I think you know by the end of the year once you've thought deeply for a month about like a certain thing that you'll have like a really well-rounded year and that you've thought about like every part of your life. If you get someone's mind to wrap, wrap around this idea of, wow, you know what, work owes me energy. It owes me thinking better. It owes me feeling better. It owes me physical well-being. Like, how do I get that throughout the day? How do I leverage time at work to do that? Um, it becomes possible. That's the whole point, is to ask a question that provokes someone into action.